Hi, this is TJ Muleman with Standard Co. with a short tutorial on how to use the Metabase trend question type. Um, we've recently started tracking um, some of our you know, social media metrics and a couple of other metrics in a dashboard, uh, so internal company stuff. And one thing we're tracking is Twitter. And, you know, I'd love to see what our most recent Twitter subscription count is and how it changed over the previous week. So uh, I'm doing this as a native SQL query as opposed to a simple or custom query. I'm not really that good at those types. I'm much better at native SQL. Um, so what I did here, and this I'm also going to highlight a little idiosyncrasy I found with the trend question type. So uh, when you do a trend question, you need to have your metric. So in this case, it's Twitter subscription count or Twitter subs, and then the date, like a date metric. Uh, without the date, it's really hard to kind of track uh, uh, that data. Um, so I run this query. And I get, I'm, I'm ordering by descending, so most recent. So right now we have 554 Twitter subs, and it's changed by four over the previous week. So what is that, like 1.9% or something like that, 0.8%. So if I go to, um, that other way, visualization, and I click trend, it says 524. Well, we just looked at it and it said 554. And so um, I was like, well, that doesn't make any sense. And what I figured out is it's actually looking at, Instead of, again, intuitively, I would have expected it to look at the most, the top two, but what it actually looks at is the bottom two. So if I switch this to ascending, okay, so now I'm looking at um, the oldest to newest, and I go back to the trend, it's 554, it's exactly what I would expect it to see. So the trend question is really effective for showing you the count as well as the growth over the previous week. Um, so thanks. Hopefully this was a helpful uh, quick meta-based tutorial.